the two programs that uh, we initiate ourselves, the first is our signature event, the Bread of Life Food Drive. It started very small. We started in 1992, the 150th anniversary of the University of Notre Dame. We started with the idea that we would collect food. We didn't know where to go, and somebody said, try the schools. We went to uh, seven uh, uh, schools, six of them were parochial, one public. We collected 4,000 items of food, and we gave it to three organizations. We kind of patted ourselves on the back and thought that would be it. But the Holy Spirit had some other ideas for us because the people came back to us from the organization and said, this spring food drive and these items of food you've given us have given us so much hope because we're depleted in our pantry. Everything given to us at Thanksgiving and Christmas is gone. Then the light went off. And as I said before, assess the need of your community. So when we went back to the club and said, you know, there's a need for food. And, you know, people said, well, we give food every year at the holidays. We said, no, no, here's the answer. The Holy Spirit is talking to us. Do a food, food drive and do it in the spring. So with that idea, we started to expand. And to any club with a project, no matter how small it is meaningful, no matter how small it is appreciated, and no matter how small you can accomplish things with it. Last year, I was very pleased to report, and, and we're just making the report to the club in the, uh, the, the April meeting. This year's Bread of Life Food Drive collected over 90,000 items of food. We collected it from 125 schools on Staten Island, and uh, we delivered it to 25 not-for-profit organizations. But again, this was something that we built from the beginning, from ground up with our own. We never outran our supply and demand, but with a lot of prayer and a little luck of the Irish, we got a lot of help.